And it's the Express controlling. Pass too far for Silas Soman. Spike back the other way by John Ryu. Frommer catches this for the Chiefs, puts it out in front, score! It is Trevor Orleans from Patrick Frommer. The fourth line for the Connecticut Chiefs makes the magic happen. Then they take a 1-0 lead with 21 minutes, 35 seconds to go in regulation. Now Jurgensen's for the Chiefs has to do work in his own zone. Palacio to Holland. Puts one on net, saves made Lawrence. Uh-oh. I think Mario Pangione accidentally put this into his own net. The Chiefs have taken the 2-0 lead with 19.48 to play. It's an additional tally for Michael Holland. Out. Regardless of what happens here, he'll hope the Express can come back and win. Holland just storrowed Jelinus. And we got a puck in the glove of Dylan Lawrence. Quincy Green to prevent Perry from going in for a chance. Power play continuing for the Chiefs. It's a goal! What a goal, what an effort for the Connecticut Chiefs to go up 3-0. Colin Hines. Ask the Express, is your dog gluten-free? Colin Hines on nice effort goal to make it 3-0 Chiefs with 10.27 to play in the second half. Rudolph's Jurgensen's. It's not only do the uh, Express get Jurgensen's off the ice, but they have a five on three, and this makes things more interesting with 40 seconds. Bird, Perry, Douglas. Slapper, McNichol to save. Como rushes it back. Perry shoots, and looking for that top right corner of the net. And that's where the puck uh, went, uh, generally speaking, but over it eventually. Perry, Douglas, shot, and that's a save from McNichol. Bird denied on the doorstep, and Hunter McNichol shuts down the Express. The stop clock, 21 seconds left. <laughs> Got a nice crowd here. At the rank, ready to erupt, perhaps. Oh, they do get it. And indeed, plenty of Wu fans celebrate as the Worcester Railers get a few chances off the faceoff and getting the power play goal is Miles Kidd. 16 17 remaining in the first half. Lumberjacks a rush off the faceoff. Stuck in front of the Vermont bench. That's closer to the Worcester net. Lumberjacks have gotten this now. Shot taken. Healy save. Rebounds put in. It's a 1-1 game. Vermont scores. And this one is for Nick Purdy. 10.27 to go in the first half. And I gotta try and get this primary assist for you right here and right now. Worcester rushed the other way, put it in front, go! O'Malley. Passing and scoring. It's Miles Kidd, it's the second of the game. Two goals for Kidd to put Worcester back on top 2-1. Quickly after Vermont scored to tie it. And a great pass it looked like from Michael O'Malley. Lumberjacks shoot one right off the outside of the post. Penalty is being called. Vermont's coming up with a five on three. Shot is blocked. And it's the late penalty goal. Persisting after the shot block, getting to it. Justin Prim. Vermont with a power play goal to 
Retie the game at two. Ports out to neutral. Swain can't dump, well, he will now. Dump it in on the late offside. Looked like he wanted to go right in. And Worcester controlling, shooting, score! Chuck Norris counted to infinity three times. And it's three goals for Miles Kidd. The Natty Hattie. Miles Kidd scores to give the Worcester Railers the 3-2 lead with a minute 59 to play in regulation. Oh, what a chance there. It's Healy the save on Gage Latorno. Or I beg your pardon, Brendan Manning. Empty net, bingo for Worcester. It's a goal for Max Bulak. And it's 4 2 Worcester with a minute 27 to play after the Lumberjacks. Another quick one here towards the end of regulation. And uh, wow, that close was Brendan Manning. And uh, with the six skaters out there for Vermont, the empty net to shoot out for Bielak, and he didn't miss. 